Clover Fresh Milk is the number one milk brand in SA. Made with love by Clover. Welcome back, everybody. Happy Monday. I'm feeling it today. I'm feeling the vibe. I think with everyone being home, it's, it's so easy to not even decide when the weekend is. I yeah. think every day is a weekend right now. And to celebrate that Monday weekend in my mind, <laughs> we're going to get started with our Pulchard's uh, recipe today. And we, we're putting a twist to a classic. You know, yeah. samosas are delicious as they are, but we're putting something different to it because I think everyone has this in their pantry. It's easy, so you don't have to go and buy anything again. You already have it in your pantry. So we're just going to put that extra spice to it. So to start with our recipe now, what I've got here is I've got my onions already sauteing in our pan. I started off with some butter oil over there. You know what I love about the butter oil is I'm using it to cook now, but I'm also going to use it to fry the samosas as well. So I just fry with it. I bake with I it. It's on my <laughs> shelf. It's my favorite. I don't know why, but I love it. I think that's what I love about it. Yeah. I love the fact that you can do so many different things it's a, with it. It's so buttery and creamy and it's just perfect. It's perfect. Mm. It's perfect. So, all right, I'm going to go in with my potatoes into the samosa filling Funny, well. you were in such a hurry. You didn't tell us what we're making. <laughs> we're making pilchard samosa. Samosas, oh, yeah. Right. Okay, okay, okay. That is my favorite thing. My twin a krul samosa van die lekker krui. You lost me there, but okay. I'm, I, I can sense the excitement, so that, that's all that that is. So into the, into the pan here, I have got some potatoes that are already parboiled because whatever we're putting into our samosas yeah. has to already be cooked already because we're literally just going to fry the outside of the samosa. So inside here is my potatoes. I go in with a bit of thyme. Um, thyme, I, I love the flavor that it has. And what happens is when you put the thyme or any herb actually into the oil, it releases its own oils. Mm. And that actually gets, it coats the rest of whatever ingredients you're using. So this is going to be perfect for me right I now. I love the floral flavor yes. of thyme. It's got that floral and you get like a lemon one as well. And, and it's just divine. It's just delicious. Yeah. It's like heaven on a plate, basically. So now that I've done that, I'm gonna quickly go in with my garlic. I, I never cook without garlic. I always put garlic in almost everything I make. Love you and amen. <laughs> and then lastly, actually, last but not least, we're gonna go in with our spices here and then our pilchard's fish. I've got some um, coriander that we're adding onto okay, that. Only coriander. Just coriander spice, yeah. nothing else. And then some salt and pepper. I can smell it. I can smell it. And then I go in with my pilchards. I'm also glad you don't take the bones out of the pilchards because that is where the calcium sits. Exactly. And this is what we need. And this is very nutrient heavy as well because yeah. it's got the zinc, it's got the vitamin D. So this is quite a good dish for you. Mm. So uh, let's go in there. It's not just good, it's damn delicious. <laughs> it is delicious. It is <laughs> and obviously because I'm making an Indian inspired dish, I wanted to make sure I've got some coriander in there. Yeah. And I'm going to garnish with some coriander because I love coriander. Mm -hmm. You can never go wrong. So basically, I'm going to let this cook down for a bit longer. And knowing me, okay, well, before I do that, I drained the tomato sauce from the pilchards because I wanted basically to show you this, that because it's now basically dry, mm. that sauce is going to help with binding it. But yeah. I don't want to use all of it. That's why I, why I wanted to drain it first. So basically. you don't throw it away. And that's no. the most important thing because we don't want to You're throw anything away in here. Nothing yeah. at all. So we're going to let that cook down for a bit. And luckily for you, I've already got an already made filling for you over here. And obviously, oh. anyone that wants to get this website, please do feel free to go onto our website, uh, mm. www.afternoonexpress.co.za. You can get this recipe and many other recipes that we've got. And so to get going with our samosas. We've got the filling, it's already done. Once it's cooked, put it in the fridge to chill because then it'll yes. be easier to actually form and put into your samosas. All right, and then over here, I'm gonna use my butter to actually butter up the phyllo. the phyllo pastry. You asked me earlier if, if a person can use a different kind of pastry. And you could actually use puff pastry if that's what you'd like. Yes. If you'd like to even, you could even make your own um, dough at home and just roll it out very, very thinly. Yeah. And then um, brush it with some butter like I'm going to do right now and then get going with it. Fill it up and put whatever you want inside and you're good to go. I think so, the important thing about phyllo is what people saw now is that you actually kept it underneath a wet towel, yes. otherwise it dries out. It dries you know, out. It like cracks. paper. It's it like becomes paper. hard to use. Yes, paper. Yeah. Thank you for mentioning that. And I'm going to do the typical triangles that we do for samosas, mm. but you've got a trick as usual, which is why I love having you in my kitchen. Uh-huh. I like cigars. <laughs> so I'm going to make a 
It's a moussa cigar. Oh, yes, girl. <laughs> Take it there. So I've <laughs> just also got a phyla pastry here. Okay. And I've got a, um, a bit of your filling. It's delicious. Thank I had you. a teaspoon and I tasted it. <laughs> and you just fold it up a long strip and you fold it up. This one, I didn't put it underneath the towel, so it's cracking. <laughs> you see? But at least you, you're showing people exactly yeah. what we're talking about. And about. then you just roll it up. And it's not going to work because I didn't do it, Polly. I didn't do it, but we're going to fry this and it's anyway going to be delicious. Of course, of course. It's all about the flavour. It's all about the inside. All right, so I've rolled, I've uh, um, buttered my final yes. pastry. And then I'm going to cut down the strips because now we're going to fill our samosas. I always struggle with the samosa folding. Why? I know. It took me a bit of a... A few efforts. So please and error. show me out. <laughs> so we're gonna go in. Start on the. I usually put it on the bottom right corner, just okay. a little bit. Yeah. At a time. So I'm gonna do. Let's try and do two for now, just to show you how I do it. I could be wrong. If there's a technique to this, guys, please go onto uh, our socials. Tell me the right way to do it. If there is. No, that is fantastic. <laughs> Look at that. And then you just keep yeah. folding until you get to the very end. And it's also important to make sure that it's buttered so that it sticks together. High five, girlfriend. <laughs> High five. All right. And then these are samosas I made a couple of minutes ago. And now we're going to nicely fry them. I know it was World Baking Day yesterday and most people would probably expect me to be baking them. But I, I love mine fried. Mm -mm. So I'm going to go into the pan with these ones and just fry them up. And I like a nice little sauce. As I said, I'm the yes. saucy lady. Saucy lady. So what I've, I'm going to do now, I'm just going to take a bit of sweet chilli sauce. This is a very easy little dip that you can have with your delicious samosa. And I'm going to add a bit of vinegar just to take away that worst nearly yellow that it is a sweet as me, not <laughs> as sweet. Yes, Sorry, yes. tongue twister for myself. And I'm going to add a little bit more and a bit of chili because we like it hot. We like it hot. We like it. We hot ladies in the kitchen. <laughs> So I'm going to add the chilies in there and I'm going to add a bit of coriander. Oh, yes. And fresh coriander. I, I yes you. This is yeah. Do you yes this me? Is it. I yes you. This is the one. <laughs> is this the one to me? Perfect. And then yeah. I'm gonna add this. I just want to add a bit more of that to our little bowl here. Yeah. Oh, oh to me. And now I'm gonna dip your delicious, healthy. Would you like a spoon? No, I'm just gonna do this. Thank you. I Enough. love the fact that because we didn't put too much chili in the samosas, it's actually going to work perfectly with that dip because you've got a nice uh, coriander, herby flavour in mm. the actual samosa and that delicious coriander and chili flavour on the I hope the, the people sauce. heard this. Let, let, I just want to bite again. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You're, getting, you're making my mouth water right now. I hope divine. It tastes, it tastes divine. <laughs> Perfect. So, anyway, our samosas are basically oh. done. They've cooked, they're delicious. Remember, the filling is already cooked, so we don't need to add anything else. We literally have cooked it up. And make sure that whenever you've fried something, you take it out of the pan. Make sure there's a paper towel there. Let's just mm. quickly switch this off because we want to stay Don't set the place on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Let's stay safe, guys. <laughs> stay safe, stay, stay safe, stay home. And there we go. So our samosas are ready. I'm going to enjoy these with your dip. And Ali. if anyone else would love this, mm -hmm. like we said, go on to www.afternoonexpress.co.za. Pali, I know your mouth is watering for this, mm -hmm. so I'm going to come over and give you some of these right now. Clover Fresh Milk is the number one milk brand in SA. Made with love by Clover. 